Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minute. A lot of news moving the market right now. Overnight, we have a potential bipartisan deal going through Congress for a spending bill. It doesn't give Trump the wall, though, so got to keep an eye on the headlines and how this develops. You also have higher level U.S. representatives arriving in China. Are they going to get a deal this week? Probably not. Will we get substance? Probably not. But we got the market moving higher, some hopium, you know, moving this thing up. Uh, big level in the S and P though 2743 we're hitting it right on we also major three star resistance in the nasdaq getting hit right on as well that's in our morning express check it out listen a top doesn't come you know just on a point but these are some levels of resistance you have to take note on you have to understand and they're tradable here when we get these big sort of moves they don't just turn around the same day if they do that could be very bearish However, they can run maybe one or two days. Is tomorrow going to be like this? Probably not the same size, but we wouldn't be surprised if we don't reverse sharply off today to see this thing trickle around and potentially even trade 2751. So keep an eye on the market and stay nimble. We think it's overdone, but this thing can stay irrational for a little longer. So again, stay nimble. Moving on to crude oil, that was a catalyst in lifting price action overnight and into this morning. You know, OPEC released their monthly report. It's very closely watched, but on top of that, Saudi Arabia announced 500,000 barrels per day cut in production this is lifting oil but resistance at 54 we have that in the morning express stop the market it's about 80 cents from that level right now the opec monthly report did show a uh, revision lower in demand so saudi's cuts on production we're sort of to counteract that the market's kind of finding its balance Inventory expectations will become, begin to come into the uh, market this afternoon. You have API after the bell, EIA tomorrow. So stay nimble and crude as well. But there's a lot of resistance overhead with 54. And then 55 and a half is a big level. You don't necessarily want to see that tested head on again, but again, it's a huge level of resistance up there. And then lastly with gold, talking about a big level tested head on again was yesterday's 1306, or back the truck up level. Now, we did say be cautious as you step in there. Be nimble the, or be uh, aware that it could pull back down to about 1300, but 1306 held. Gold has responded. It's got up about 1318. Resistance at 1320 has kept the level, has kept the tape in check, and we're consolidating. We want to see gold really ultimately close above 13. 15 to give some credence to today's move. Otherwise, we're going to continue to consolidate a bit. But the dollar, the dollar index for it, for that fact, has pulled back from that run. We're, we're traded to a high of 97. We're back off about 96.60 today. Watch where the dollar closes. Fed Chair Powell is on deck. We have some notes coming out about him, uh, but the speech was scheduled for 11.45 Central Time. So uh, we'll still look to see what we can hear from that and how that moves markets. Give us a call. We're here to help with anything on the board. 312-278-05. You can email us info at bluelinefutures.com. Check our website for updates, and you can sign up for a free trial of research there. But remember, futures trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Thanks a lot.